Hello and welcome to my shop. I recently did a video where I took a bottle cap and I cast it around a blank and made a pin out of it. And I got a lot of responses from people asking me if I would mind showing the procedure that I went through. And today we're going to take a standard bottle cap. It can be off of a soda bottle or a beer bottle, won't matter. And we are going to show the process for getting it around a tube and casting it in clear alumilite to make a beautiful pin blank. The first step in the process is we need to remove the little rubber seal from inside of our bottle cap. And the best way I've found to do that, you've all seen these little, I guess they're candle warmers they're called. Uh, you have some little wax pellets, scented pellets that you put in this ceramic dish. And then the ceramic dish sits on top of this little heater. And as it melts the wax, it puts a nice scent into your house. These work great for removing the rubber seals from bottle caps. Basically, you just take the bottle cap, put it in there face down, and I don't know how well you can see that, but I can see it on my end really well. You can watch as the bottle cap begins to, or the rubber liner begins to remove or separate from the cap. Grab them with a pair of needle nose pliers and just stick an awl or a nail would work just as well right underneath. And this one's giving me a little bit of resistance. Normally they pull out much easier, but I don't think I've had this plugged up long enough to let it really heat. There we go. And I've completely removed the rubber seal. Uh, you can put three, four in there at a time. And by the time you get one removed, the other three are ready to go. It's a very fast process. It's about the quickest way I've found to do it. I now need to remove what I'm calling the skirt of the bottle cap. And the best way I found to do that is with a Dremel tool. Once we remove the skirt from the bottle cap, there's still a little bit of a lip on the back of it. So I'm just gonna take it over to my grinder and clean that up a little bit. All I'm looking to do is take this rough edge off and make sure that the cap is as round as possible. feel pretty good about that. It's nice and round. There's still just a little bit of a lip, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'll use a couple pieces of Corian. I'll put this between the Corian and then I'll use a vise and I'll squeeze it and that will make it perfectly flat. I'm going to take the cap and lay it on a piece of Corian. I'll put another piece over it. Tighten my clamp down just a little bit. There we go. Give it a good crank. 
Now we'll back it off. I'm gonna put my hand under it because most likely, yep, it'll fall through because it's now very, very flat. And you can see all the way around, there is no lip. I'm going to be using a 2764 inch tube for this blank. So what I do is I go through my punches and I pick the one that fits the best internally uh, within the tube. Now you'll notice there's a tiny bit of play, but that's okay. We really want the uh, punch to be smaller than the external diameter of the tube. That way the badge is gonna fit tighter around the tube. So I simply take my tube. I just line it up on the punch to where I think it looks nice and straight. And then I just press the sides around the punch and I'll roll it on my bench. And it gives me a really nice shape. Now you'll notice it's loose. That's okay. You can just kind of give it a little pinch to tighten her up. And she should fit right around a pin tube. You'll notice we don't have any play whatsoever. It's nice and tight all the way around the tube. And that's what we want. So we don't, we don't want it to protrude too far away from the tube uh, because then it could get uh, in the turning diameter where we're taking material off and we could actually nick the uh, cap. I used some sandpaper and I roughed up my tube. That should help the paint stick just a little better. And then I've just taken a scrap piece of wood, just a stick, and uh, put the tube on the end of that stick so that I can hold it and be able to rotate and paint evenly all the way around the entire surface of the tube. Once I have all of the blanks painted, I simply just hang them over the edge of my maker cart and I use the can to keep the blank from tipping off. We'll let them sit like this for about 24 hours and completely dry. I gave the paint plenty of time to dry on my tube. I've got really good coverage all the way around. And what we want to do now is we're going to slide this badge onto the tube. And you see how tight it is on this tube? What I'm going to do is just kind of give it, whoops, just kind of give it a little bit of a pull on either side just to sort of loosen it up just a little bit because if it goes on there too tight it's going to dig into the paint there we go i'll slide it right down onto the tube and it went nice and loose that time so i'm going to just try to snug it up just a little bit there we go now I'm getting a nice fit and I like it to leave maybe about a quarter of an inch at the top. That's just the way I like to set them up. And what you've got now is a really nice looking blank. I don't use any glue because this is going to be put in resin. It'll be face down in my mold and the resin will actually seal and adhere it to the tube. Now you'll notice it's not moving. I mean, I can, I can wiggle it a little bit. It's got a good grip because it, it's tightly squeezed around the tube. So it's gonna hold just fine. I've gone ahead and put my blanks into a mold. This really isn't a casting video, so I'm not gonna go through the process of casting. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that taken care of, get these in the pressure pot, and I'll come back and show them to you when they're finished. Oh guys, I'm really liking this. Take a look at just how clear those blanks look. Let me pop them out of the tubes here. Ooh, I tell you what, we're gonna wait a little bit. I touched the top of them, they are still a tad bit sticky. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to take these in the house, leave them in the mold, and I'm gonna let them sit in the house where it's nice and warm and finish curing. I, I have to assume that it is, uh, the, the temperature out here has, sort of stop them from fully curing. Uh, that thumbprint on the top and the bottom where I hit it is not gonna hurt a thing. That's all gonna get turned away, but they are clear as glass. So I'm gonna put these away for now and I will come back and show you what they look like uh, when I finally can pop them out of the mold. Well, everybody, I waited overnight. I let my blanks set in the house and uh, finish drying. They are no longer tacky, but something strange happened and I think I understand why. Take a look, see how they're cloudy?
and look at this, bubbles formed. There was not a single bubble in either one of these yesterday when you looked at them in the mold. I do believe what happened, I talked with, with a friend of mine who's a big caster, and uh, they're tacky. That meant they weren't fully cured. Um, setting them in the house was fine, but I believe what I needed to do was probably put them back in the pot, back under pressure, and let them set in the pot and cure. It is extremely cold here right now, uh, high 20s, low 30s, and uh, I just think the resin didn't cure. Um, looks like the bubbles on this uh, Moxie one, with the exception of right around the top there, see that one right up top? They're all pretty well surface bubbles. I think this will turn. I can probably fix that. But I had a big bubble pop up right above the knee-high sign, or the knee-high um, badge, and then a couple right around the uh, top of the blank. And this one has some around the top, too. And I think what happened is the resin wasn't cured. The pressure pot, when you put pressure on it, the bubbles don't leave the resin. They just get compressed until they're microscopic and your eye can't see them. By setting these in the house and letting them cure naturally, I guess the pressure of the bubble just opened back up. The bubble blew itself back up, and that's why I got them. Today, I'm going to go ahead and cast two more. I was actually working on several uh, badge blanks while I was making this video. I'm going to go ahead and drop two more in the pressure pot. It's extremely cold. Uh, my resin is in the house. It is warm. My B resin is like water. My A resin is, is always very thin, so that's good. My mold is in the house. It is at house temperature, 70 degrees, 70 something degrees probably. And I'm gonna bring those out. I'm gonna pour one more mold today with two more of the, uh, the badges on them. And we're gonna put it in the pressure pot. And instead of just two hours, I'm just gonna leave it set. Uh, I have nothing else to do today. I'll give it three, four hours. I'll check them. If they're still tacky, I'm going to hit them right back with the pressure and keep the pressure on to keep those bubbles down until they can fully cure. I just believe that the cold weather is just going to take longer. Uh, it's going to take longer for me to be able to uh, do resin blanks. The original few that I did, it was still in the 60s when I was doing those, so they probably had enough heat. Uh, this, this pot is... The pot's cold to the touch, so I do believe that's the problem. I went ahead and molded up another set. I did a, a triple X root beer and a crush, and these have been in the pressure pot for well over 24 hours. I just left them in there. Uh, they're, they're perfect. They're gonna shine up great. They're a little bit hazy. That won't hurt anything. They are completely bubble-free. They look beautiful. These are gonna polish up and look amazing. What needs to happen, and this, I mentioned it earlier, this really is not a casting video. But what needs to happen is on the pressure pot, I need to find a way, and I have several ideas uh, from other casters, how to warm the pot up and keep it at a decent temperature so this doesn't happen. But my hope is, taking a look at these, I hope this video showed you the steps that I go through to make these blanks, and I hope that you're able to attempt them and, and make them yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section below. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. And I really hope you enjoyed my video. I would like you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Have a great day, everybody.